Hello and welcome everybody. Tonight I wanted to take just a few minutes to speak with you about synchronous versus asynchronous or other types of teaching. We're going to be looking at how you can teach without the face-to-face -face factor that most of you are used to. So what I want to talk about first is asynchronous teaching. This is probably going to be the most uncommon to most of you. And we want to look at the advantages and disadvantages of asynchronous, and then we'll look at the advantages and disadvantages of synchronous. The advantages of synchronous is it allows for the students to take and learn on their own individual schedule. A student may work during the day and may do their learning at night, or they may be a morning person. It allows them to choose when they partake in the course. It also allows them to partake at their own pace. Some people are quick readers. Some people are slow readers. Some people need to see things uh, versus others can just pick it up from reading. It is a personal preference of the individual, not necessarily the professor. Finally, the last advantage is it helps students who are nervous, who in group settings can be extremely shy, who can feel unsafe. With an asynchronous approach, they can feel safer. They can feel more in control. Unfortunately, I would love to say that there are just many advantages and no disadvantages, but we all know that there's a disadvantage to everything. The course delivery can fail to engage certain students. Certain students require the more hands-on approach. They require more face-to-face -face time. They require the ability to ask questions, to create a dialogue between you and them. And group work. Group work can be extremely difficult. When we're in a classroom setting, getting people to work together, you are available, you are interacting with them, you're helping control dynamics. That works really well. With asynchronous, trying to get four, five, six individuals to all come together at a specific time on a specific project becomes nearly impossible. So let's look at the advantages of synchronous learning. This is what you're most likely used to. It allows for real-time interaction between the student and you, the teacher. A set schedule is established along the lines of a face-to-face -face course, which can be helpful to certain learners. This also can be helpful in allowing you guys to figure out scheduling. Because everybody is being switched into this mode suddenly where we go from teaching on campus to teaching online, how do we arrange that schedule for everybody? Well, we can use the existing schedules we already have with the students and we can create these Zoom sessions, these go-to-meeting sessions, go-to-webinars, whatever tool you're choosing to use. Again, this method can also have its own disadvantages. It can result in certain students feeling excluded from the conversation. Again, it goes back to certain students learning on specific, on their own pace and via certain methods. And students must be online at a very specific time. Now, in this particular case, we may be lucking out if you hold it at the same time that the sessions were held when you were on campus. But you have to be careful with this and you have to make sure that you are scheduling it for the greatest amount of people not just your schedule. Do you have to choose one of these methods or is it possible that there are other methods that are better? That is entirely up to you. You can choose synchronous, you can choose asynchronous, or you can choose my personal favorite, which is a blended approach. Blended learning allows for the students to take their own pace with the course, their own schedule with the course, but to also allow them to interact with the teacher 
and fellow students. Lectures are held at a specific time, but the lectures are recorded for later viewing. Someone misses something you said because their kid cried in the background or their parents yelled that they needed help or something to that effect. Instead of them missing that and not being able to get that back, they can come back, they can keep watching, and then they can go back after the recording's been posted and watch that section that they missed. Students can learn at their own pace if they so choose. Students who are nervous in group settings can feel safer in the environment. Again, it's giving the students the options. Right now, it is all about options. We want to make sure that we're embracing every student and we're embracing every learning method. Teacher can blend their approach to each student's strengths and a set schedule is established along the lines of a face-to-face -face course, which can help those learners that better learn on face-to-face. -face. So at the end of the day, it is questions as to which method works best for you, which methods works best for your students. You and your students are the only ones that can choose which method that you go forward with, whether that be asynchronous, synchronous, blended, or some variation thereupon. It is entirely your choice and your student's choice. I hope that this has helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you and have a good day.